Hey Eagle fans, it's Eagle fan Carl, and today we're going to take a look at the remaining schedule for all four teams in the NFC East and try to figure out who's going to win this division uh, and get that one coveted playoff spot that's going to come out of our division because clearly this division is not sending two teams to the playoffs. So this is where things stand right now with how things would uh, end up if the season were to end today in terms of where the teams would finish in the division. Uh, of course, three of us all tied there at 5-7. and seven. The Redskins would win the division by virtue of the tiebreakers. And the Cowboys down at the bottom at 4-8. and eight. But ironically, the only team with a winning record in the division at 3-2, and two, which goes to show you how bad our division is. Uh, looking ahead at all the games, a couple of things uh, jump out. Uh, first of all, the Buffalo Bills are going to play an important role as to who wins this division. As you can see, they play us this week. They play the Redskins in Week 15, and they play Dallas in Week 16. Uh, so they're going to play an important role in who wins this division. And then also, the other thing, uh, a couple of years back, the NFL started uh, the thing where everyone ends on a divisional game. So you've got the two divisional games, obviously, to end the season. Uh, but the only other divisional game on the schedule is the game that we play at home against the Redskins in Week 16. So that is, I think, going to be a very important game and go a long way to determine who wins the division. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, where exactly uh, things stand uh, with the various teams and where we're going to finish up. We'll do this week by week, uh, and since it's Christmas, uh, the, team will be, the game will be shaded in red. If I think it's a loss, it'll be shaded in green. If I think it's a win, uh, and I'm not going to spend, spend a lot of time on why I think teams are going to win uh, or lose games, uh, but I will uh, give a quick synopsis of why and move on. So first we've got the Redskins playing at Chicago. The Redskins have not played very well on the road this year. I think Chicago is just good enough to beat them. They still have something to play for, so I think they beat the Redskins. Uh, in terms of us playing the Bills, I'll do a prediction video later this week to explain this in a little more detail, but I think we're going to lose uh, at against the Bills. Uh, then um, playing at the Packers for Cowboys, we'll jump to that game because I think that one's a pretty easy one. I don't see there's any way that the Cowboys beat uh, Green Bay in Lambeau, so I'm uh, putting that as a loss as well. Finally, the Giants playing at Miami on Monday night. I think that's going to be the only win this week for the division. Uh, I think that the Giants will figure out a way to go down to Miami and win. Miami's been inconsistent enough that I think that the Giants can win that game. Uh, and I think that that is uh, one of the f few wins that uh, is going to happen uh, for this division down the stretch. So if that holds true, then this is where things would end up. The Giants would uh, jump into first place and we'd move on to the next week, uh, week 15. Uh, but that being said, I think the Giants give it right back. Uh, they've got to play uh, the Panthers, and even though it's going to be in New York, I don't see there's any way that they're going to beat uh, Carolina. Carolina's just been too solid this year. Moving on, the Redskins, I think they actually do figure out a way to beat the Bills. The Bills are going to be in the second of a three-game stretch where they're playing out-of-conference games. It's hard to continue to get up for those. I think they will get up for the game this week uh, because of LaShawn McCoy, and I'll, I'll talk about that more at a later date. But I think uh, they'll be, it'll be a little harder for them to get up for the Redskins, and the Redskins do play well at home, so I think they win that game. In terms of us playing the Cardinals, before when this game was a 1 o'clock game, I, I think we would have had a good shot at winning this because of the whole thing with the West Coast teams coming East, playing at 1 o'clock, it's, it's usually not good. But this game has been flexed since then to the Sunday night game at 8.30. It's a primetime game now, and the Cardinals have just been too good. I don't see a way that we're going to win that game. Uh, and then finally, the Cowboys playing against the Jets. The Jets, I think, are good enough to go down there and beat the Tony romo -less Cowboys. So I've, I pick that the Cowboys then will be the team that will go in uh, as the first team in our division to have double-digit losses. So if that holds true, then the Redskins would go back into the lead in the division uh, and end up uh, back in first place. Moving on to Week 16, I'll come to the divisional game between us and the Redskins in a second. But I think the Gi Giants, this is the tough part of their schedule. They're going to Minnesota. Minnesota's been a lot better than I would have thought they would have been. I, I thought they were going to be a decent team this year, but not challenging Green Bay for that division, which they're doing currently. So they're going to have a lot to play for. I don't see the Giants going to Minnesota and winning that game. Uh, and then the uh, Cowboys playing at home against the Bills. I think at this point, the Cowboys are going to be in that. Um, they're, they're not going to have as much to play for there. The Bills might still have an outside shot at a playoff game. Uh, so our playoff berth as a wild card. So I think they do figure out a way to go down and beat the Cowboys. And then uh, the game between us and the Redskins uh, playing in Philly on a Saturday night. 
they we're going to want some revenge for the them beating us earlier in the season, and I think we figure out a way to get it. And I think that we will beat the Redskins on that Saturday night game and uh, go to six and nine, and that would then put us in first place by virtue of tiebreakers uh, going into the last week of the season. And the interesting thing going into the last week of the season, if this uh, scenario were to hold true. All three teams could still win the division, the Eagles, Redskins, and Giants. We would be, all be, be the only ones that would control our destiny. If we won against the Giants, we would win uh, the division. Uh, the Giants could still win the division if they beat us, but they would need the Cowboys then to beat the Redskins. And then the uh, Redskins could win if they win against the Cowboys, but the Giants beat us. So those would be the scenarios of who would win if this scenario does hold true. So talking about the Redskins-Cowboys uh, game first, I think the, the Redskins will win that game. I think the Cowboys at that point are going to have packed things in. And granted, uh, you know, it's a divisional game and, and teams get up for those games. But I just don't see uh, the Cowboys uh, sitting where they're going to be sitting, uh, them really being able to give the effort like the Redskins are going to give, who are still going to have a chance at, at winning uh, the division and making it uh, into the playoffs. Uh, so I think the Redskins, they're also going to want revenge for the game uh, this past Monday night uh, and the way they lost that. So I think they'll have a lot to play for. The Cowboys won't. So I think the Redskins win that. And then the Eagles-Giants game, it's going to come down to that. And I think that the Eagles are good enough uh, to beat the, the Giants. Uh, they can put pressure on uh, Eli Manning. They've shown that they can do that over the years. Uh, I think we're one of the few teams that Eli has a losing record against. Uh, so I think we do figure out a way to, to beat the Giants, and therefore we would end up winning the division. So there you have it. I'm picking the Eagles to win the division and go to the playoffs uh, for the second time under Chip Kelly. And we'll see exactly what happens when they are going up against a team that's probably going to be a lot better than them because it's the number four seed. They'll be playing the best of the, of the two wild card teams. Uh, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. For now, let's just uh, buckle up and go through the last four games of this regular season and see if the Eagles can actually get there or not. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Do you think the Eagles are going to win the division or one of, other, one of the other teams figure out a way to pull it out? Um, I'll check back later this weekend with my more in-depth prediction for this Sunday's game against the Bills. Until then, fly Eagles fly.